Blue Jays fans would have started the week feeling a lot better and happier about life. Um, but after dropping two to the Orioles in the fashion in which they did, would feel pretty miserable, I think, because it was there for the taking even yesterday. In the fourth inning is what I keep thinking about. The base is loaded. Ding, ding, ding. And they couldn't do anything. And I've seen that happen so many times in meaningful games as a Tigers fan, usually in September or October. But, I mean, we've seen the Jays like do this a lot. And it just, for me, I can't get over the fact at what a boost winning a series against the Orioles, your last series, would be for them. And they let it slip away. Okay, micro and macro on this. And, Brendan, you're absolutely right. It was about the fourth inning. Mm -hmm. People will look at the two two two-run home runs given up by Jose Barrios last night. And the fourth inning, you can go, well, the the Blue Jays scored two runs. Bases loaded, nobody out. Vlad at the plate. I think it was first pitch. And just hit a little dribbler. And it ended up being a fielder's choice RBI. And I remember looking at it going, that was the moment I realized the Jays were going to lose. And Springer nearly got past Mullins, center fielder. He made a good catch and ended up being a sack fly. But they only got two runs. They they can't produce the big inning. And last night, seven of those nine innings, three up, three down. The Blue Jays' offense, they went meekly into that not good night. And what bothers me about the Jays, because they could easily still make the playoffs. They got a lot of games against bad teams. They could still make the playoffs. Oh, yeah. I don't quite, know about easily. No, you look at yeah. the competition they've got. But the la- next 16 games are easy. But my concern is they're like four or five games under 500 against teams with winning records. Mm-hmm. How am I supposed to be inspired that this Blue Jays team can make a legitimate run in the postseason when they can't even beat the good teams in the regular season? We've said this the last few times they've got in. The wild card game, though, where it's just the focus, the obsession is just get in, just get in, and then you got a chance, and then they get in and they don't. So I think this season, you want to feel as though getting in will be different because of this roster composition, because of how imbalanced, but at the same time, high potential they have. You look at like the pitching has been quite consistent, yes. despite the wins not being there. There are some good individual hitting stats, despite the run production not being there. There's Bo Bichette. There's a little bit of Whit Merrifield, but Matt Chapman since early May has been one of, and this is not a hyperbole, one of the worst hitters in Major League Baseball. Vlad, nice RBIs, but part of that is good for him. He never gets injured. So he's lots of opportunities. And again, that's that's commendable. That I'm saying it's a negative. But how many bats, if you were if your Detroit Tigers in some crazy world, some mystical Zack Snyder-esque world. We're in the playoffs, and you were facing the Blue Jays. How many batters would you be afraid of? You're a Tigers fan. Like, uh-oh, blank is at the plate. Uh, this is bad for my pitcher on the mound. How many batters? Well, what year are we talking about? We're talking about 2013 when you got David Price, Scherzer, and Verlander. I'm talking. I'm t- like, I'm like one and a half guys I'd yeah. be afraid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then again, that's a team that got swept, I think, was by the Orioles in that uh, ALDS. So what do I know? <laughs> they don't have many batters that, I, I think, scare uh, opposing teams. As much. I mean, yeah. the, the the recent play, there's reason for opposing pitchers to feel very confident, especially with a guy like Vlad, who could burn you at any second, you'd feel. But he's hacking at balls that feel very desperate, mm-hmm. right? He's getting singles. He's still, he's still getting hits. But he's not making you pay. You want him to clean up in that spot. Yeah. You need him to clean up at this point in the season. I think it's the weird thing with Vlad and I think a lot of the other hitters with the Blue Jays is the fine line between we keep hearing now, we have no more time. You know, we got to get going. We got to get going. So how do you still relax, but at the same time, accept the pressure that you're under? Like, because you just get mixed messaging. Just do your job. Do your job. Don't think about it. But then at the same time, hey, guys, it's time to buckle down. It's time to get going. And those are sometimes conflicting messages. And I think to your point, I think that adds to it when you see maybe guys trying too hard and just and swinging and just desperate swings. And so many times, like I, so many times they were three up the first inning, three up, three down, five pitches on uh, the second inning, three up, three down on like eight pitches. Like just they're not making the pitcher work. Mm-hmm. They're making the pitcher's job much easier than it should be. Let's hear what manager John Schneider had to say about it yesterday. Yeah, we got to go home ready to win. You know, starting tomorrow, we got to um, 
you know, be aggressive. We got to be on the attack. We got to have good at bats. You know, our pitching has been really good, I think. Um, but it's just putting everything together. You know, we got to uh, limit outs in the bases. We got to make the plays, and we got to have we got to have consistent at bats. And um, yeah, it's it's it, there's no time to wait. There's no time to wait at all. We got to do it right right now. <laughs> I do love the frustration that comes out there when you forget that the cameras are on, or you just want the dismount. Yeah, I mean, he must just be feeling like, well, if I drop this at the in my last answer, no one's asking the next question. Boom, I'm out the door. I never even thought about that. That was a well placed f word by uh, by Schneider. Expertly placed. Expertly placed. But yeah, did he do it? Because there won't be any follow up questions because you don't have to read between the lines about what I said. Yeah. But it's now two days in a row where there's been a very strong statement by a member of the Blue Jays. Two days ago, it was Kevin Gosman kind of coming out and saying, hey, we're not hitting. We can't stop waiting for this to happen. It's got to happen. And and now you got John Schneider today. And, you know, the Jays and Houston and Texas, they're actually those are the three teams of the top 11 teams in baseball that have a, a losing record against teams with a winning record. And it just, it feels every day we hear this over and over again. And what I'm getting tired of is when everyone someone says, oh, no, if you look at the exit velocity or if you look at some of these numbers, these guys are ready to break out. It's like I don't care about expected goals when the Leafs were taken on the Florida Panthers. We just needed goals. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I feel like it's going to be game 163 and the Jays are out of the playoffs and one of us gas bags is going to be saying, oh, you know what? Just wait, Vlad. It's going to happen anytime now. I'm like, season's over. Got to wait till next year.